Hey guys, it's Sarah with americantrucks.com and today we have a review and install of the pocket style fender flares fitting your 07 through 13 Chevy Silverado 1500s excluding the classic models. These flares are intended for short, standard or long bed and sold in a set of four. These pocket style fender flares provide extra protection from road debris and give you about two inches of extra coverage if you're running larger wheels and tires. These flares are constructed from durable automotive grade polyethylene and feature a matte black finish, meaning you can leave them as is or paint them to match. This is for the Silverado owner who wants to add some style and protection to their truck while giving their wheels a bit more coverage. These are more budget friendly than some other pocket style fender flares and they're one of the wider options available for your Silverado. I'm gonna give this install a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. These feature bolt-up installation on most models and can be done within three hours. With that said, let's jump right into our install. For this install, we used ratchets, eight millimeter and seven millimeter sockets, a Phillips head socket, half inch wrench, a razor knife, Phillips head screwdriver, and a pop clip removal tool. All right, so our truck has mud flaps on it, so before we can begin our install, we're gonna remove them. This one comes off with a Phillips head, so let's get these off. There's also one underneath. Also remove the front mud flap using a seven millimeter socket. All right, so before we can get our flares installed on our truck, we do need to prep them a bit first. We're gonna start with the weather stripping. They have included enough weather stripping for each of the flares, and it just goes out along the back side of it where it meets with the truck. So grabbing one end, we're gonna grab the red backing and just start to peel it up a bit so we can get it on our flare. All right, so we've peeled back the red piece exposing our adhesive. We're just gonna start where it meets the truck, which is right about this corner, and just go around the edges. And just pinch along the back to help the adhesive stick. You're shooting to have the adhesive part on the back side of your flare. And again, we're just going along where the flare is gonna meet the paint of our truck. And this just installs to protect the paint from this flare rubbing against it. Once it's all pressed on, mark about where it stops. Then using a scissor or a razor knife, just cut right along the bottom edge here. Save the rest to use for the other flares. At this point we can install the hardware. Each bolt gets a washer, and then you're gonna install the nylock nut on the other side. They've included a Torx bit for you to use. You can use an eight millimeter socket and a half inch wrench to hold the nut on the other side. Just get these snug so they don't move. You don't want to kill them because you may damage the flare. Repeat that for the rest of the holes.
All right, with our front fender complete, we're gonna repeat that process for our rear fender. Starting with the weather stripping, we're gonna line it up just to the outside edge of the fender, the exact same way as the front. With the adhesive to the inside, we're peeling back the red to expose our adhesive and pressing it in place. Now once you've reached near the end, mark off where it's gonna stop and then grab the razor knife and make your cut. Press the remainder of the weather stripping onto the fender. Install the hardware in the same way as the front fender. Grab the included Torx bit and half inch wrench and tighten it down. Repeat that with the remaining hardware. All right, so now that we have our fender prepped, it can go onto the truck. We're gonna use the factory hardware in the front. There's four screws that are holding in the fender liner that have to come out so that this fender can bolt on. Using a seven millimeter socket, remove the four bolts that line up to the bolt holes on your fender. There should be one at the very front. There's one here towards the center of the fender. Then there's two here at the back of the fender, one here and one that we already removed when we took off our mud flap. All right, line your fender up to the truck. And starting at the front, we're gonna install the screws. Grab your seven millimeter socket and tighten it down. Line up the second hole towards the center of the fender. Get the bolt started. And then grab your seven millimeter and tighten this down. Repeat that process with the back two bolts. For the rear, take your fender and line it up and look for the two clips that you're gonna have to remove in order to install the clips that are provided with the kit. Using a pop clip removal tool, move them on all the way to the left. Skip the middle one and then remove the one all the way to the back. All right, at this point, we're gonna grab our fender and hold it up to our truck. Now we've already removed the two factory clips that are at the top here. We still have five holes that we're gonna mark so we know where to place our clips that are included with this kit. Line up the fender to about where it's gonna sit. Grabbing a marker, go through each hole and mark around where we wanna place our clip. Repeat that for the two spots in the back as well. All right, so now that we've marked the holes for the clips to go on down the bottom, we're gonna start with the two that already have holes up top so that it can hold our fender in place so we can get it mounted up. Grabbing the smaller clips that don't have the space in between and the longer bolts, 
we're gonna go over the two open holes that have the factory pop clips in them. Slide them over the metal and line them up to the holes. You wanna be using the flat side to face down. All right, so at this point, we're gonna grab these plastic tabs. And we're gonna put them over the mark we made with the Sharpie earlier. This is gonna be where we bolt our fender to our truck. So once we've stuck our tab on the truck, we're gonna grab the larger of the clips here and we're gonna be aiming to get this back section over the metal so that we can screw our screw in the front section here and it doesn't hurt the truck. Get it in place right over top of that tab and repeat that for the rest of them. Now we're gonna repeat that process for the rest of the mounting locations. So starting with the top two holes, we're gonna use the longer of the screws and go through those two clips that we placed at the beginning. Once you have that bolt in place, grab a Phillips head screwdriver and get it tightened down. At this point, you can install the smaller screws in the remaining clips. Grab a Phillips head screwdriver or Phillips head socket and tighten this down. Repeat that process for the rest of the screws. All right, that's gonna do it for the review and install of our fender flares. Remember, for all things Silverado, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.